Hey Cancer, this is your general tarot reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Ascendant or Rising Sign for the month of October. Cancer, what the heck have you been up to? Because it seems like the universe has seen what you're doing, they've noticed what you're at, they've heard your cry for help maybe even in some cases and the universe has decided to step in this month and bless you with success and maybe even bless you with love and you're saying what it's about time it is about time it really is about time for you cancer because i feel many of you were putting a lot of hard work into something a lot of push maybe there was a lot of stress or worry about doing something new creating something new taking the initiative with something new and you've been working 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 at it and this is a month where you start to see the reward where look like him, you're holding it up and saying, finally, finally, I have the good stuff. Let me examine this. I haven't seen you in a long time. Money, fame, success. It's about time that I've, hold, I've got a chance to hold that up and make it shine. So there's that feeling of holding something up that you're proud of, Cancer, and showing it off to a lot of people, making it shine. And receiving some level of success from that, but it was a push. This, do, this isn't something that just comes easy. This do, just didn't fall on your lap. This is coming in the areas where you have been given it 100%, where you have been trying to step away from things that might have been holding you back, things that were causing you maybe even pain, but things that you just had to give it 100% to make it happen. Here comes your success because of that. Congratulations, my love. Congratulations. And it's a real month of taking risks as this card comes out. A few others came out there. Maybe some of you taking risks with an unusual idea that you had. Taking a risk on love even for some of you. Taking a risk to do it your home life and your family life too. Maybe some of you want to reshape that, remodel it, do something different so that your home feels, I'll say this, happier, so that it feels like that it's not just a place to rest and relax, but it feels like it's making progress. It feels like that there's fun, laughter, humor in the home. Again, another thing that many of you were probably hoping to push forward into. For me, Cancer, it feels like you've broken through. Maybe if it comes to relationships, it's that feeling of we've broken through some emotional barriers. We've broken through some maybe clashes there emotionally, maybe some moods or some, you know, really testing each other emotionally. And it's the feeling this month of breaking through that. It's, it's definitely a step into something positive. I love that cancer. I love it. I love it. I love it. So why is all of this happening? Well, this is Libra season, which means that the sun is in the fourth house. But on the fourth, four, what's all these fours? Um, Mars, the warrior, is moving into your fourth house. And this is all about, say, renegotiating things at home. Again, it could be the negotiations over a home contract, you know, buying and selling of a home, dealing with your landlord, maybe doing something, putting a lot of passion and energy and expression into making your home a healthier and happier place where you and the people that you love can have more fun. So there, it's just a lot of energy. Now, one caution I'll say here, Cancer, with the Sun and Mars in the fourth house, I just want to say, don't get triggered by other people who may not be so willing to, I don't know, may not be so willing to help when you're trying to do something positive either at home, within your family, or trying to create something. It's like trying to bring something into existence. And, and it's this feeling of don't be hurt or triggered if other people aren't able to support you in some way or they're not able to understand your need to do something, your need to express something, your emotional need to make something happen in your life. Just keep using your energy to make that happen. 
don't be diverting any of that strong energy into maybe attacking other people, maybe partners, family members, because you just don't understand what I'm trying to do. You don't get what I've been trying to accomplish in my life, you know. You know what I'm saying? That's a waste of energy because all of this energy will pass, but maybe the hurt feelings may not pass. So you just keep that energy moving on your home, positive feelings, on your family, positive things. Whatever this thing is that you're trying to open up in your life, just focus on that, my love, because that's where the success really comes. And you don't have to have bruised hearts or wounded emotions or anything like that as you're on this journey. It's not necessary. It is just not necessary. Now, we have Mercury, Venus, and the new moon, and the sun, say later on in the month, going into Scorpio, into this fifth house, where again it's this feeling of breaking through, taking a risk, taking a chance, going for it. And in some cases, separating yourself from the crowd a little bit, in order to be seen as an individual. This is not a month where you are hiding away in the corner. This is a month where you're out there showing yourself off. Look what I've done. Look what I've achieved. Look what I've won. Look how I've made this happen. Look at me going into the next step of my life. Look at me falling in love again with my partner or bringing in a new love this month. Yeah, absolutely. Look at what I'm achieving and there's you know it's very sun energy so it's that feeling of being deeply satisfied by the triumphs in your life this month by the victories by winning through and in some cases cancer there was a feeling of being so determined to make something happen i do get that it was a push but now you are enjoying the success and basking in the love. Basking, maybe even for some of you, basking in applause. That's, that's a big thing. It's people coming to you this month and saying, we love what you're doing with your life. We love what you've created. We love the attitude that you have now. We're, we're just ready to celebrate you. Cancer, we're ready to celebrate you as if we're not always ready to celebrate you, but particularly this month, I feel that there are laurel leaves being thrown at you, very much so, and, and gifts maybe being thrown at you. You're saying, hey, what do you mean gifts being thrown at me? <laughs> that uh, shouldn't gifts be presented to me, not here, here's your gift, you know? But there is a feeling of gifts being brought to you because what you're doing, Cancer, is you're generating good feeling in people. You're generating a good mood. For those of you with children, even nieces, nephews, grandchildren, whatever, or you work with children, there's this thing of good feeling. People, young, old, middle, they're all responding positively to the vibe you're giving off this month. I love it. I love it and enjoy it, Cancer, because these moments don't happen all the time. So make hay while the sun is shining really make hay while the sun is shining. Now when it comes to projects, money, work, everything like that, the more creative you are, the more success you get. The more maybe even risks you take, the more success you get. And for me, I feel the more you become an individual and step away from the crowd, do something unique, different, maybe even for some of you, approach your work and money in a way that you haven't done before or that other people haven't done before and then there's an increased level of success it's about being unique the more unique you are the more rewards you get if part of your work is creative and you find that you're just doing the same stuff that everybody else is doing you might get some some some, some mm, 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 what's that all about? You might get some rewards, sure. But it's for me, it's the more different you are, the more original you are, the more it's like spectacularly unique you are in the decisions you're making this month, in the choices you're making, in the skills that you're showing off this month, then that is where the real gold is at. 
the real gold. And I think last month you learned that lesson, Cancer. You've learned that if I want to make my relationship right, my connections with my family and friends right, my work, my money situation right, then I've got to create something and I've got to bring it into form and it's got to be different and it's got to have depth and meaning to me. It's got to be coming from the heart. Say if you're a songwriter, for example, uh, you could have found yourself being stuck in a genre where you were just falling in line with everybody else because, hey, this is what people want. You know, these seem to be the most popular type of song, so I'll write that type of song. And then the penny dropped, I think, last month where you said, but what makes me different? Am I just getting lost in a crowd with what I'm creating? And the push I feel was on then to produce something so perfectly unique to you, Cancer. So that's very strong for those of you who create, very strong. Your voice must be heard. This is very strong, a deep and passionate voice. I feel some of you being very vocal this month, um, maybe within your community, maybe with what you're teaching to people, sharing, public speaking, uh, it, when you're encouraging a, a group of people, maybe even on social media, if you blog, vlog, anything like that, podcast, there's a feeling of my unique slant must be heard, my unique voice. The same thing in relationships. It's this feeling of when I bring my unique voice to this relationship, then they will see how fun I am, how, how inspiring I am, how, how, um, how, I, how worth it I am in some cases. Yeah. In relationships, I also feel that turnaround happening where you're getting to remind your partner just how valuable you are. Look, I'm worth it. This is why you're in the relationship with me. This is why you love me. This is the quirky me that you love. This is the unusual me that you love. This is the me who asserts themselves, but not in an aggressive way, not in a kind of moody way or in a I'm stamping my feet way, but in a don't you remember the fun me way? This is who you fell in love with. This is what you like. And I'm going to bring more of that. There's a cheekiness, a kind of free-spiritedness going on here. A bit of a, I'm going to enjoy the flavour of this month. Why don't you come and enjoy it with me kind of feeling. So it's gorgeous, gorgeous as the last two cards hopped out there. Cancer, congratulations for those of you who have been really striving to make something happen in your life. No matter how big or small, say, it might look, for some of you it could be a huge triumph to pass a test this month, a huge triumph to start a new project, a new business this month, a huge triumph to turn the mood or the feeling in a relationship around this month, or getting better connections and making stronger bonds with family this month. Whatever it is that you deem as, I've been pushing with this, here comes the success. I love it, Cancer. I love it. Well done. And one last thing before I just turn to the cards here. Around the time of the full moon, which is an Aries full moon, on October 13th, again, more push might be needed. It might get, say, the second half of the month might need just a little bit more, but I think you're doing it with a better, I can do this. This is work, but I'm enjoying doing it. But also, one thing I'll ask you to do is to not allow your health to suffer as you're enjoying the success, as you're feeling pushed on, as you're saying, right, I'm recommitting, I want more of this, this is all good. Don't allow yourself to get burnt out. Don't allow yourself to get stressed. And if there is a thing where you feel, I must take responsibility over the direction of my health, then do it, do it, Cancer. And I will say this, because <coughs> excuse me, the full moon is in the 10th house, this for me marks a real turnaround moment <coughs> with your career. It could mean leaving one career and starting another, or just totally changing the face of it. It is like I am turning this right around, because I know what I'm supposed to do now. I know where I'm supposed to go now. It's supposed to involve 
me being more unique, different, enjoying, creating. It's supposed to be fun. And I get that. And I will say this, the more you pay attention to details around the time of the full moon, again, the more luck you might have. Yeah, you know, the harder I work, the luckier I get. The more a, a, a attention I give to detail, the more things magically seem to go right. You know what I'm saying? So just that little thing, just to get that little extra little bit of benefit out of it, Cancer. We're going to squeeze this month. We're going to get absolutely the most out of it, okay? <laughs> so my love, let's go over to your cards and here to the big grand, ta-da, overview. So Cancer, yeah. Here you are, beginning again to feel like success is here. You're holding something up. You're proud of something. This comes from the heart and soul. Everything I'm doing now, I am proud of. Even in relationships, some triggering, as I said, could be happening there. Even coming from family members. Um, it's kind of like, no, I have value on myself. I'm going to be proud of how I handle this. I'm going to do this in a dignified way. I'm going to always, again, this thing of being proud of how I am not triggered by other people, proud of, proud of myself that I am not so baited into emotional manipulations, you know? Um, I'm proud of myself that I'm able to hold my ground somewhat when other people are trying to tug at me a little bit, tug at my heartstrings to get me to do something that I don't want to do. This is my unique life. This is my unique world. This is my unique direction. And this is my unique decision to make sure that I'm allowed to live my life without feeling oppressed by other people, particularly family members or even partners. I have a voice and I am speaking up. And this is where your success comes. In speaking up, not in an aggressive way to argue with people, but speaking up and saying, well, here's how I'm going to do it. Here's how I see it. Here's how I'm totally comfortable. Um, are you happy with that? No? Well, that's something you should deal with then. So there's a feeling of, I, I will be proud of how I handle something. I will be proud of myself and I'll do it with a great level of dignity, but force. So that's where you get the thing. Now, this card also says there could be a really new opportunity, a big opportunity to ride on the coast of this success energy this month. It's like going up to the next level, but feeling like a beginner. You see, sometimes when we move up a gear, even though it's progress, we may have to start at a kind of ground level of the next stage. And I feel that's happening for you. Some career change, particularly. Some major life change and it's a feeling of take I'm taking control of this and I accept that making progress sometimes means starting back at the basics but I know that this can be built upon so it's not a step backward it's it's just a moment where I have to start building start constructing start start at some new ground level and build up. So again, it's so positive, Cancer. And again, this thing of taking risks, diving into the unknown. There's a feeling of you having learned a lot, learned a whole lot. Maybe, maybe since your birthday, there's a feeling of, you know, I've learned a whole lot since then. I have learned a whole lot. And I've learned to take more risks. I've learned to be more confident and see the value of myself in the work that I do, but also in my whole entire position of life, with my relationships, with being, maybe for those of you who are parents, with being a parent. I'm going to let this kind of wobbly feeling go of, am I a good parent? Am I a good parent? Am I a good co-parent? Can I really parent my children kind of when we're co-parenting? Let that shit go. And... Start saying, well, I'm in control of this. I can handle this. 
I am a good parent. I am a good worker. I am a good boss. I am a good brother, sister. I am a good family member. I am, a, I am worthy of standing up here and showing people I am good at this. I am responsible with this. And again, it feels like taking a risk to show people your confidence in some way. So that's, that's beautiful. It's like I've made big changes. I've taken big risks. I've jumped right in. And now people are going to see the value of the big decisions I've made in my life. They're going to see how I'm going to see how it pays off for me to grab absolutely absolute control of the things in my life that were out of control, but not taking control of them like I'm I, I've got I've got to control this, but more like handling it like a boss and letting things flow a little bit better. Again, that's where the success comes. Now I will say this with these two cards, some of you taking clever, calculated risks with money. And it feels like taking a huge risk. It feels like beginning a course of action with your career or money. That's like, oh, can I do this? Can I do this? Ah. But I feel, Cancer, that you're not, it's like taking a risk, but it's, it's not like on a whim. I think you've calculated all the possibilities, all the potentials. I think that, as I said, it's like a very calculated risk. Um, and I think it will pay off for many of you. Yeah, you're definitely jumping into this month with a sense, again, this thing that I keep hearing, it keeps coming back with a sense of remembering how valuable you are. And I think that's the big blessing. That's where the biggest success comes, where you remember the fun in your life. Remember how fun you are. Remember your humor. Remember that you are more valuable than you've given yourself credit for. And your voice, your voice carries a lot of weight here. But it seems to carry the most weight when you treat yourself with respect and when you value yourself. That's where the gold is. So that seems to be very key. Now, these new ideas, these new ideas are part of the risk you're taking. It's like a new idea to go with something, but it does involve, again, this thing, Cancer, of having to separate from the crowd. All of your success depends on it. Now, when it comes to love, it's this feeling of, I know how to handle this. I, if I want control, not that we should control relationships, but I think, you know what I'm saying? If I want a better handle on how to approach my relationship, then I have to stop listening to the opinions of other people. You know, if you're having some issues with your relationship and you go and tell all the details to your friend or to your brother, your sister, your family, then everything, then too many opinions happen and too many people are emotionally invested in how it plays out. Um, so you might make a decision and then a family member or a friend might say, you're mad, you're mad, you're crazy. If I was you, I would have done it this way. I would have told them this and I would have, you know, kicked them to the curb. And, and it's like, shut those voices up. Shut them up. To, to have a good relationship, really, we have to do our very best to contain the feelings within the relationship. Now you can certainly and should get advice from other people, but not to spill your guts all the time to other people about what's going on in your relationship. Because again, it's this feeling of too many people get emotionally invested in how it plays out. And then there's too many complicated emotions involved. So the, the best idea and the newest course of action that can bring you clarity in your relationship is to pull away from this thing of oversharing with people who have too much influence 
over how it plays out. So that's very strong. Um, the other thing here, this thing with your work, with what you're creating, with how you're handling your life, being a parent, being a boss, being a good friend, being a responsible person in a team or anything like that, there's the feeling of the more you sever ties with the tried and tested, with the same old, same old, then the more clarity will come. It's like cut the cord from doing the same old thing that everybody else is doing. Cut the cord from saying, well, this is how relationships are supposed to play out. I read a book and the book said that this is what it is to be in a good relationship. Sever, sever, sever. You know, my family tell me that this is what a good relationship should look like. Sever, sever, sever. It's start this month creating what a good relationship looks like. Start this month creating what a good friendship looks like, what a good business move looks like, what a good expression of your own voice and uniqueness looks like. Sever, like go in and say, if I'm unique, then I can't ask people, do they agree with my uniqueness in some way? I've got to first establish my unique voice and then present it. And if you do that, I think you just get more success. For me, I strongly get a feeling that there is a severing here happening at the start of the month. I feel it's between the over-influence that maybe a partner, a close friend or even a family member has on the direction of your life and on your happiness and even what you're creating. Am I saying sever them, cut them out and get rid of them? It's not like that. It's more like push away their over influence in what you're doing and say, look, I value your opinion. I love you, but this is my time to be unique. And everything I do and I create in my life, that's an expression of my soul. It's not an expression of our soul, because then it feels to me like too many cooks are spoiling the broth. It's got to be uniquely you. I'm pushing that because I feel that that's a hurdle at some point that you might have to get over, maybe even at the start of the month. It's got to, your, your happiness is coming from your own uniqueness and not from being drowned out by the voices of partners, friends, family. This is not where you get drowned in Cancerian waters. This is where you say, what? This is me in my Cancerian's water, in Cancerian water swimming, you know, lying back and paddling. This is, this is my territory. Don't try to come into my territory and hold my head under the water. This is me. This is my space. You know, let me be free to paddle and express and, you know, just feel it myself and express it myself. Then more fun and joy seems to come back into your entire being, Cancer. Now, mid-month. Hmm, what is this? What is this? Some unwelcome news. Some unwelcome news that I feel ends something for you. It could be to do with your work, or it could be to do with where you are responsible, like being a parent, being the head of a team, being a team leader, a, a, a business leader, a sports team, you know, like captain or something like that. There's a feeling of wherever you have some position of responsibility or duty, there is some weirdness going on there, some unusual news. It could also be to do with your family and your, and your relationship, or even your home. So there's a lot going on here. It's like a news that you didn't want to hear arrives and you're saying, oh, this is gonna kill this now, isn't it? This is gonna ruin everything. I don't think so. For me, I think this is exactly what you need. It's like an avenue gets deliberately blocked for you mid-month. And you're saying, oh, hello, the frustration. I can already feel it. 
This is a blessing. Sorry, Kate. I was just saying, this could be a blessing, whatever this roadblock or obstacle is, because it, it takes you off a path and puts you on a better path, which you may not have otherwise chosen. So that's one positive thing. The obstacle, frustrating as it is mid-month, it kind of shows you to move in a new direction that I feel is a blessing. It's almost like, well, this is an easier way to handle this. Thanks for being an obstacle to me, whatever that was. Yeah, thanks for being an obstacle. Um, hmm. Some of you might be dealing with obstacles that are surrounding children, maybe to do with their school or the classes that they do or some issue around there, an obstacle might happen. And you go around it and choose a different path and it seems to get a whole lot easier. And you're like, well, that actually turned out to be better than what I was doing. So there's that feeling. But I will say this, mid-month I do feel a provocation. And I think that provocation is coming from one of the air signs. Sun, Moon or Ascendant in Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. Somebody trying to provoke you into a response. Somebody, try, somebody seeing you doing really well and trying to, you know, give you the sneer and provoke you or trigger you into pulling you down a little bit off that podium. Sorry to say that, but every time energy like this rolls around cancer, there are always, always jealous people. Always. It's just par for course. It's just the way it is. Don't take it personally at all. It's just some people can't make happiness in their own life, so they can't bear to see other people having happiness in their life. If you, it's almost like if I can't have it, then you can't have it either. Sad bitches, but that's how it goes. So there's the feeling of being drawn and provoked. I strongly feel by sun, moon or ascendant air. Uh, it picking at what you're doing and trying to dismantle it in some way. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing it that way? Why don't you do it this way? Why, why, why you're doing it wrong? You're doing it wrong. Why, why did you do that? Why did you say that? And there's a feeling of, okay, okay. I'm trying to get the best out of Sun and Mars in my fourth house of inner emotions. I'm trying to use that in a positive way. But if they keep provoking me, I'm afraid that I will absolutely open a bag of mad onto them, that I will lose my shit with them. Now, Cancer, we said at the start of this reading, there could be people who provoke you into doing that, but you know what? It's your choice, but that would be an absolute waste of the good energy in there, in the fourth house, where you are really finding inner passion again, inner confidence again, and getting more secure and happy about that. And again, this thing of not everybody wants to see somebody happy. And I think if you can say that to yourself when this rolls around mid-month, just say, this isn't personal. This isn't about me. They just, I, it could be me or it could be anybody. It just so happens that this time around, it's me. Um, they just don't like uh, and don't understand why I deserve happiness and they don't. This is about them. I'm not going to get baited and drawn in and provoked into a response. Instead, I will keep focusing on my success and building more into it and keep having the dignity and the confidence to assert myself in a very positive and fun way and creative way. They are not the boss of me. Really, they are not the boss of me. And it might be very interesting to show somebody, it could even be your partner or a family member, that you're not so easily brought down. It's like somebody knows your weak spot and they want to pinch. Don't let them pinch. Don't let it bother you. Just say, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, it's strong air energy, whoever this is. But you know, if you handle this right and navigate with caution through this, where you don't get provoked, where you don't lose your shit, where you don't let a big roar, the wrath back at them and give it to them from the pit of your soul. If you avoid that 
and go through these treacherous waters carefully, then you'll find that you've come through this, you've put an end to it. And more than that, for me it almost feels this month of really putting an end to how other people trigger you sometimes. We've got Pluto going, going direct this month in your seventh house of other people. It's like getting power over other people by not being baited by them. By saying, uh, 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 I see what you're trying to do here. What does Pluto want to teach me? Pluto wants to teach me to have power and composure when other people are trying to make me lose my power. They want me to lose. How sad is that? How sad is that for them? But how great is it for you that you seem to end something once and for all? You've gotten mastery over this thing of not being bothered by those bitches. Really, really, and I think that's something also to be very proud of. If that's where your success is this month, then that's a major success. That's probably the success. Finally having mastery over this emotional Reaction. It's like not letting somebody burst your bubble or deflate the wheels in your victory chariot. No. That's, my, that's how I win. That's how I master this. And this is a huge lesson that's learned for you. Now, mid-month, I'm just going to go back and say this one other time. I see a lot of you could be receiving this kind of little pinch at a moment where you are quite tired. Um, so around the time of the full moon, I want you to again focus on not letting somebody drain you, but instead having mastery and control and saying, you know how I turn a lot of that energy uh, towards, I'll turn it towards getting myself relaxed, rested, comfortable, feeling, maybe doing a detox, getting out there, doing a run, going out on the bike, doing something healthy, going to the gym, going for a walk, whatever it is. It's like I'm, I am cleaning their toxicity out of my system in a healthy way. And that again is part of this mastery. Learning that when they tr try to put poison in you, that you can purge that in such a healthy way. I feel some of you mid-month are finally purging the poison of somebody. I really feel that. Strong, it's either even in a relationship, it could be a family member or even an ex. It's like I know how to purge this shit now. I know how to do it in a healthy way. They expect me to shout, get all crazy, cry, get all sad in myself, lock the door and become depressed. I'm not going to do that because that is a symptom of their poison. I am going to heal this. I am going to fix this. I am going to bring force into my mind, body and soul and spirit to let what they're trying to put in me healthily release build my body, build my health, and build my resistance to what their kind of little acid drops. I'm building a healthy immune system against their poison. Now that's huge, Cancer, huge. Now we're coming towards the end of the month. I still feel that we're dealing with this air sign, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But I think what you've done is you've mastered this thing of sitting back and not being drawn into an argument because here's your choice that we just spoke about. Do I lose my shit and go in for the kill and then end up realizing I've won nothing here. I've won nothing. I haven't finished anything, concluded anything. I have just been triggered. So is that one choice or is your other choice to sit back like the queen, the queen of earth, be grounded and say, look, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be healthy, grounded, satisfied in my position. Nobody's going to knock me off my position and nobody is going to take away the wealth and the value of what I've learned about myself this month. Nobody's going to take that away. My biggest responsibility this month is to myself, my grounding, my health. 
and holding steady when these tricky bitches come. That is a new me. Yeah. And again, coming towards the end of the month, once you handle it like a pro, Cancer, you're back in to this thing of sitting comfortably. And again, growing your money. You see, we started with the Page of Pentacles and already by the end of the month, the money has grown. The position has grown. The status has grown. The value has grown. The uniqueness of what you're producing has grown. So you already see something growing and blossoming by the end of the month. So that's why it's worth it to master what Pluto is trying to teach you. But we do close off the month with this. I feel some of you really have to handle and deal with the details of somebody who you trusted to do something for you. Do work in your home maybe, handle a family situation. There was a level of trust where somebody should have taken this with seriousness. They should have been more responsible and you trusted them and they made a mess of something. And I feel at the end of the month, we're closing off with you getting stuck in saying, look, you might be, you might be my partner. You might be my friend. I might love you. You might be my family, my mother, my father, whoever you are, brother, sister. You might love, I might love you, but I'm taking my heart out of this for the moment because we need a serious conversation. We need to talk about that thing where you were given a level of responsibility and you didn't step up to it and you didn't do the job right and you didn't fix something for me. I trusted you to do something for me. And now here we are, I find myself having that conversation. But you know what, Cancer? You leave the month handling those details because as I said to you very early on in the reading, good luck comes to you from handling details this month. But it's about you having the control here of the situation and saying, let us go back and handle something. Uh, but I'm in control of it. It's like re going over details of something where somebody else was sloppy and you had trusted them with this job, this position of authority, this thing. So you're doubling back at the end of the month to say, let's get this right. Um, I'm not going to get cross with you, I'm not going to get angry with you, we're not going to fall out with, it, with, you, with each other, but this is serious and we have to deal with this. And then once you handle it like that, Cancer, it'll be treated without any drama, any emotions, anything like that. It's cleared and then you can move on. So it's worth it. So my love, <laughs> what a great month. You've got success all around joy all around, a unique voice happening for you and mastering this thing that Pluto is trying to teach you, mastering it of not being provoked to waste your energy and certainly not being like an open chalice to receive other people's acid drops of malice. No malice in the chalice, okay? And that is what your huge success is part of this month. So my gorgeous, I'm going to leave it at that, but as you know, these are just the general energies. To get into the real details, you know where to come by now. You come to the Vimeo readings, the deep read. We'll go right into your relationship and see what's going on there and how you can deal with some things that might come up. The singles, we didn't even touch upon that this month. And actually singles, there's a really big chance of falling in love this month. Money and career, there is success. We'll get deeper into that. Family and friends, another thing we'll go deeper into, and anything else we haven't touched upon here, that all happens over on the other side. It happens in, on, in Vimeo on, at the Deep Read. So you will find the link down there in the description box. Click into it and come along, and I'll see you over there. I'll see you on the other side. But otherwise, my beauty, I'm going to leave it at that. And as always, I'm going to leave you with all my love and a big kiss for congratulations and success. Mwah. Well done, Cancer. Until next month, my beauty.